inside that handout I just gave you guys. Please don't look me yet. <laughs> um, so first of all, I would like you guys to think about your life right now. Uh, think about what you do during an ordinary week. Okay? Things you like and things you might not like that much. Waking up at 7 for the AM class might not be the best thing in the world, right? Uh, think about your ordinary weekend. Think about the time you spend with your sorority sisters, with your frat brothers. Think about your dreams, your parties. Gather all those thoughts, all right, and keep that in mind. Now, I want you guys to think about one thing that you do pretty much every day of the week. That one thing without which your life would suffer. That one thing that makes you feel complete. Think about that. Going to the gym, hanging out with your friends, playing sport. How good is that? How important is that thing for you? What role it plays in your life? Now, before you guys open the email, or the email, um, I want you guys to think that for a better reason, you have to leave all those thoughts behind. You have to give up of your free games, of your parties, your time hanging out with your friends. You have to give up of that one thing that makes you feel complete. Now you guys can please open it up. The girl the teacher is Nicole Denny, also known as Corey. She's a sophomore here at the university. And as you guys can see, she's not an ordinary soccer player. She's very good. Um, well, Coley's life took a U-turn, just like the one I mentioned before. Uh, Coley's had practice with her teammates and played with them normally during January. In mid-February, Coley noticed a bump in the right side of her ribcage. She then headed to the hospital. She got x-rays and after a CT scan revealed a tumor and a later biopsy diagnosed cancer called as Ewing sarcoma. Uh, Coley had to do the exact same thing that I asked you guys to picture. She had to drop school. She had to leave all those amazing moments that we are blessed to have countless times throughout our college life and go home to fight against cancer. For you guys that don't know, um, Ewing sarcoma is a very rare disease in which cancer cells are found in the bone or in soft tissues. It occurs most often uh, in the pelvis, femur, femurs, ribs, and clavicle. So, Coley had to head home, uh, and she's right now receiving treatment at Fox Chase Cancer Center, which is around 45 minutes away from her house. And um, the Elon community, as well as the soccer community around here, has set up multiple ways to help Coley's family to offset the numerous costs that this disease might incur. Uh, you have two links in that handout I gave you, and another way, it goes from buying shirts or wristbands to simply donating an amount of cash in amount through a website that her head coach here, Elon, set it up as soon as he found out. So I told you guys at the beginning that that handout could change a life. Here is your chance. Questions and answers. Questions? And not my day. Do you know anything about how her treatment's been going so far? Yeah, uh, she's doing well. It's just really tough because the chemotherapy actually yeah. gets all your vitality and energy. 
So for us that knew Coley and we were used to see her flying around the field, it's kind of depressing to see like now, but yeah, it's fun. Any more questions? Yeah. Are there any events coming up or anything where she'll be you know, honored and stuff like that where like be donations and fundraisers and stuff like that? Yeah, I know that the girls soccer, they are uh, doing multiple events around campus. They actually had something going on at Kangaroo this past weekend. Uh, where they were like selling wristbands and uh, just raising funds. And uh, I've been trying to talk to them and actually uh, try to make it more widespread because people actually like don't even hear about it. Like they yeah. didn't hear about it yet. And we want to make it like a massive thing. But yeah, we're working on that. Consider <coughs> using social media or yeah. Elon Network or something. Yeah, Elon posted on Twitter, Facebook, and all that as soon as they found out. Mm -hmm. But uh, apart from that, that was, that was it. Okay, good job. Yeah. I have to say, at the beginning, I wasn't sure where we were going. Yeah, I was like, point. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's he doing? What's he doing? So I had already written down, need better direction at the beginning of speech.